Drummers, what's the deal? This is Richie Martinez, and today I want to talk about something very specific that has to do with balance, coordination, and working on independence. So I know a lot of us, uh, as drummers, tend to struggle with the idea of independence and balance and feeling awkward behind the kit or having shoulder issues or just like bad posture and things like that. And just as important as I would say patterns and rudiments and timing would be for ourselves as drummers, I would say that, that posture and coordination and, and dealing with independence are, are equally matched. So I'd love to give an example for you all to work on that'll help you develop specifically coordination between your feet. Now, this is not going to be some super ridiculous clave exercise that splits your brain into a million pieces. But for those of you that are looking to eventually get better at independence or also just trying to get better at working your hi-hat foot and your kick foot to where they're not sounding muddy while you're playing a groove or a pattern or anything that is that you're playing with your hands, well, then this is the thing for you. Now, as I mentioned before, balance and coordination are important. And, and how does that translate to a drummer? Well, firstly, we have here our drum throne, right? When you're at a dinner table and you're sitting on a, a chair at a dinner table or anywhere, right? You'll notice that the seat that you're sitting on is allowing the legs to be at a neutral position. And naturally, we relax, right? When we sit on a chair, we relax. So this is extremely important when it comes to setting up your drum set as well. We want to be at a neutral position. Why is that? Well, when we start messing with patterns with our feet, we'll notice that balance becomes an issue. We either find ourselves leaning forward. How many of you guys are like leaning forward whenever you're playing on a kit and you're like moving your feet around? You're like, oh geez, my left foot is dragging or rushing or hiccuping or my right foot is hiccuping because I'm leaning forward, right? A lot of drummers lean forward and I think that is partly because of the position of our seat because we're not activating our core muscle. We're not holding ourselves from here. We're holding ourselves from here, from the feet. And you'll notice a lot of, a lot of us tend to leave our beater in the head, right? Leave our beater in the head, and we also uh, tend to put pressure on our pedals. Well, I'd like for us to sit back on the kit, sit back, and, and let your feet relax. Lower your throne a little bit. This is gonna be weird for a lot of you. It was weird for me when I first adjusted, but do it because it's going to help you start activating your core muscles, and then you can sit back and relax. Your shoulders won't be all tense. You'll be looking over the drums. All right, in a nice position as opposed to leaning forward. The patterns that we're gonna play all revolve around a, a grid exercise, a very simple grid exercise. Now we're dealing with two 16th note groupings, right, all on the right foot. So the groupings are going to start on one, obviously, we start on one, one E, then we're gonna push over our uh, two note groupings by one 16th note. So one E, E and, and uh, all right, we're focusing on these groupings. One E, E and, and uh, and we can even do a uh, one, all right? We can throw that in there as well. And here's what I want you to do. So essentially, the left foot is going to keep quarter note time, but also eighth note time, and it's gonna go back and forth between both. So we're going to have quarter notes, one, two, three, four, So you'll notice that this can be tricky because some of us will find ourselves tripping over, especially when we're hitting the downbeats, the one E, two E. Our feet are gonna do this muddy thing that goes back and forth. So I highly recommend that you take this slowly, right? All right, you're saying, Richie, okay, I got that. That's easy, what do you want me to do next? Well, what I'd like for you to do is remember that we're switching over to eighth notes. So after an entire set uh, of subdivision changes, what I'd like for you to do is move to eighth notes. So, two and three and four and. Essentially do that. Now, you add a backbeat. And here's where it gets fun. When the left foot plays quarter notes, the right foot is playing eighth notes, 
and vice versa. Back beat, two and four. Ready for it? So what we're doing here is eighth notes on the hi-hat while the ride plays quarter notes and then they switch after an entire repetition. We're moving the 16th notes. One E, E and, and a, uh, a uh, one. And that's what you're gonna do to develop, right, an understanding of how your feet are gonna move. Now, this is important. While you do this, please do not lean forward, right? If you're leaning forward, you're counteracting essentially what the core should be doing. So sit back and relax, right? Sit back and relax. Obviously, speed this up once it's clean. We don't practice something until we can do it. We practice it until we cannot get it wrong. Just like saying your name. When you introduce yourself, hi, my name is Cucumber, you're never going to get that wrong because you know your name like you know your name. And you want patterns to be the same. It's all cerebral. Work on the mental state of drumming, not necessarily the physical aspect because once something clicks here, right, your, your extremities are going to be able to... Uh, redo and replicate everything that is going in your, on in your mind. So please take this very slowly. And the way that you apply it is essentially whenever you're keeping time with the left foot, now you'll have the liberty to start playing your subdivisions anywhere you want. So have fun with this pattern, really relax, sit back, right? And, and, and yeah, just enjoy it. If you'd like to switch up the order in which you play the 16th note groupings, do so. You know, they don't have to be one E, E, N. They can be in whatever order you'd like, right? These subdivisions are meant to be moved around and enjoyed. Cool. So, well done. Practice it like there is no tomorrow. Get really locked in, secure, work with the metronome, and then speed it up, and then post your results online, and make sure to tag me. Richie Martinez, I hope you enjoyed this lesson. Peace out.